Hey everyone, this is Michael Mana from the T4 Show. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at another Mac application available in the Mac App Store. And this one is called Instadesk and retails for $4.99. And also Instadesk is the Mac counterpart to the insanely popular iOS app, Instagram, which just released the 2.0 upgrade. So I figured it'd be a good time to review the uh, Mac application. Okay, so we're gonna take a tour. I'm gonna to show you some of the cool features and the way that you can use the Instadesk in this video, including right now we have my feed, which is pretty much my stuff and all the people that I follow. And you can see I have right way photo, I have mine right there, which means, and uh, Culmination, which is Colm, co-host of the T4 show. And you can, you can really interact within this uh, field right here. And you can also change it to whatever you want. I can just see the photos and then click on those photos or I can have them even smaller like that. So I kind of prefer this. I have it in full screen mode right now, but even if it was just a regular window, there's plenty of room to work. So let's double click on Colm's picture. It'll bring it up right here in the center. And you can see on the right hand side here that it has information. It was uploaded 20 hours ago. No filters, you just took a regular picture. I, I think he'd use some tilt shift, but it's not giving me any of that information. Uh, there's no comments. And of course, I like the picture. I think it's really cool. And that is it for that part. I can just scroll up and down. Let me find a picture that I haven't liked already. And let me scroll all the way down here. All right, I already like that one. Let's let's try this one here. Open that one up, Gears of War. It has no comments and three likes. So right here, I can go up to the top and you can see how I can interact. I can like, I can share, I can download, or that's my downloaded stuff, or I can, maybe I can download it. I can open it, or I can go and scroll next. So I'm gonna uh, like it, and then I'm gonna download it. Yeah, I can download, I can download any image. And this is the part here that Colm was always complaining about with Instagram. He wanted to be able to download his images to his Mac, save them, make a photo book. And I think that's a cool little feature for an Instadesk to be able to get all your stuff off of Instagram and be able to archive it, make a photo book with iPhoto or whatever you choose to do. So I'm gonna download that to the desktop right there and save it. And it's also a pretty good backup because if you have to wipe your phone, anything you've taken off Instagram is saved up here. So that's pretty cool right there. All right, so that's my feed. Now we're gonna go to popular and this is just people I don't know, but well, look at Big Spoon 17. Look at that. Taking a little self-portrait thing. She's got 40 comments. I don't know if I want to <laughs> I don't know if I want to read them. I clicked on it and then I changed my mind. But you can find some real pretty interesting photos like this one right here. That's a nice photo taken with an iPhone. And here you have uh, tags. And there are popular tags uh, that are applied here. And the filter is normal. I don't know what they did. Let me see here, great picture. Take a look at my picture, it's got 151 likes. I'm gonna like that one too, I think it's really nice. All right, so that's that's popular. You also have popular tags, which over here on the right-hand side, I can scroll down and find, let's see, Star Wars. That's a popular tag. We'll see if Colmes is up here. I don't think he tagged his picture, but let's go here, that's pretty cool. And you can see here, they, they hashtag Star Wars, they tagged it with Star Wars, the filter is normal. Mostly everybody's using normal filters. Chewbacca. I don't see any filters that are used. So, go in there. Here's news. I, I, I just clicked on this in a different take and it had people who liked my photos who started following me. That's pretty cool. Now here's my pictures here, which means, so it should just be schmees. So that's very interesting, actually. So if I wanted to create an album just for schmees's pictures, I can just do that and pick an icon that goes along with it, even though I don't see what that icon is. I'm going to save it right there. Now there's my album. Now what I'm going to do here with this is start dragging these photos, so on and so forth. I was trying to pick multiple photos, but I don't know how I can do that. Maybe I select all. Nope, that doesn't work. All right, 
So anyway, you get the idea. Now I want to click on, no, I want to unselect, unselect, undo that. Come on, won't let me. All right, apparently I have, I'm going to go to the slideshow next. <laughs> Load the slideshow because everything seems to be highlighted and I can't get it unhighlighted. There you go. Look at Shmi's. Now I can just use the arrow keys to go. That's my favorite one right there. Look at her eye coming through there. And I didn't do any kind of filters or anything on that, so that was pretty cool. And I can manually do it or it'll do it timed right there. There she goes. Now these are filters that I've applied. Look at that one. That was tilt shift. And that was a good one there. You can see a pattern here that the cat likes to sleep. I took a sunset picture. Jim. Now you can see all these things. Are, there's Colm and his wife. Look at those guys. All right, now I'm going to go out and come out here. Now, apparently, I cannot get off of the fact that all these things are highlighted. I'm trying to do that, but I can export or share the album. So if I decide to do that, I can share it in desk albums, share it up there, describe it, and I can publish it as an album. So that's pretty cool. Also, I can find users. So if I want to find Colm stuff, search users. I'll open all his stuff. All his stuff will come up. I prefer to do that. And it shows follows followers and details the guy from t4show.com well thank you call him he has 220 pictures 50 followers and 40 follows so that's pretty good i don't know about this locking up thing oh there it goes okay now it shows people i follow i need to start following more people and shows that i have quite a bit of followers which is really nice of everybody so that's pretty cool I have to work on that following people. Let's make sure I have at least people I know. <laughs> Anybody I'm not following yet, I apologize. I will I'll start following you on Instagram. So I'm going to bring up my profile here. That's not my profile. Here I am. So anyway, you can follow me uh, on Instagram, Michael Manna, same as my Twitter handle. And uh, that is about it. $4.99 Instant Desk. I think the download features in themselves are worth your pictures being saved. So that way I have a hundred and some pictures on my iPhone here. If I just put them up on Instagram, I can pretty much put them all into an album and then download, export the album and have it on a hard drive and back it up onto my Drobo and so on and so forth. So that way you don't lose the pictures that you take with your iPhone, especially if you're running a beta, which I heard a lot of people on iOS 5 betas are losing all their data. So that's about it. Instadesk, like I said, $4.99 available in the Mac App Store. Highly recommended by myself, Calm, and of course, Shmi's right there. So for everybody here at T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your Instadesk endeavors.